Anyway, we're back here in the Duck Call Room. Back Another way. Thursday episode. It is a, uh, it's been a pretty good week. Look, if you're if you're uh, checking this out on YouTube, be sure you head on over to the Duck Call Room YouTube channel. That's youtubecom slash room, all one word. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below while you're there. And uh, as always, leave us a cool, friendly rating on all your podcast apps. That way, your friends know where to find us. Find us. Find, find us. Find us. Find us. A little that tongue tied was, this right. morning. Hey, was, not find us because that costs money. That's kind of like yeah. knife. You don't say knife. Hey, Godwin, you know what we got in this week? What you get in this week? Well, I already thank Bernard, but a nice lady named Kim sent us some more jackhammers. <laughs> so we're uh, on that chatterbait bag. Kim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kim. I'm going to catch a big old mouth bass for you. And what is it? I'm going to say that's for Kim. It's a chatterbait called a jackhammer. It's a vibrating jig. Is it any good? Is oh, it any is good? It any good? Did you it's, the best, it's the best fishing bait invention since the night crawler. Did you not get yours? No. No, it didn't have his name on. Oh. Kim left us a nice note and said, "We're tired of Uncle Si getting all the gifts. I wanted to send you and Goblin something." Well, that I, is I awesome used the right bait there. in Mississippi, and I can't think of the name of it, but it's swirling when it, you drip. It's a top water bait. Oh, well, that's a, a buzz bit. bait. No, it ain't oh, buzz. Oh, flopper, whopper, plopper, whopper, flopper. Yeah, whopper. yeah. That thing's bad though. Bone. That's what it sounds like. Got, that got one with the perfect impression. That actually do is it, what do it, it sounds again? like. Well, I just know, hey. That's right, before about a big old nine bass. nine and a half it. pound bass. I and then about eight, three quarters. Now, how come is it all these new bass baits that catch them are so cotton picking expensive? Well, they run. The, the jackhammer. They work. Jackhammer, $18. Yeah. $17.99. For one? For uno. For yep. uno. Hey, Don't hey. throw it in a tree. The fishing hey. bait people got to make money, too. Unless you go to is the honey on, hole, it's it on, $19.99. Hey, I know. Is it on, <laughs> on $25. Somebody hey. got to pay John Davis' salary. Hey, is it underwater? <laughs> underwater or top water? It's, it's, it's subsurface, yeah. yeah. Below the top. Subsurface. Now, a plopper, a whopper. You better whopper. have one of them weights that you can slide on the line and knock it loose if you, if you hang it no, up. No, you go up there and get him. Yeah. Hey. Problem is, them toothy critters is what get him. They'll bite him and just cut him smooth off of you. Boom. The what? You know, like gar oh, and okay. all that kind okay. of stuff. Tootsie, tootsie Grenel, critters. Yeah. Tootsie critters. Grenel, Grenel catch, loves it. I didn't catch Tootsie. Yeah, Grenel will knock four foot of slack in a chatterbait. Oh, yeah. so, mm -hmm. uh, but them whopper ploppers ain't cheap either now. They like 18, 19 bucks. Well, see, I, that, that was the guy I gave it to me in Mississippi to fish with. Yeah. But they work. Oh, so they work. Yeah, they work. I call it a nine and a half pounder and an eight and three quarter pounder. On a top water? On a top water. Oh, buddy. I bet that was cool. fun. It, it just cool. Sound like somebody flushed a yeah. commode on top of Oh, no, no. Two commodes. And look, what was yeah. fun about it, it was where a fence had come in the water and it got deep enough that I could throw it back in the back. And as soon as it got over that fence, cool. Oh, boy. And oh, I, yeah. Ooh, oh, I'm hung. And so, it, yeah, you no, hung, ain't hung. You just hung yeah, up, yeah. <laughs> hung up <laughs> in his face. That's it. I was hung up in a submarine. Yeah, I guarantee you. Uh, Golly, why? I didn't think he was going to cross the fence to get it. Oh, no, no. That was a chicken in the road. Oh, oh that's the chicken Not in the, the fish road. in the yeah, fence. Not the fence, that's fence. I have actually caught a bunch of fish off of fences. That's funny. Off they don't know where them property lines are. Nope. Like, you get on them rivers, like Beth River's got cattle pastures, and they'll run that oh, yeah, barbed run wire that out into the, yep. the river to keep the cows from crossing. <laughs> yep, throw it up And you can throw it. something up. Yep. That fence post has got one on it. Oh, Guaranteed yeah. oh, yeah. there's one on yep. that fence well, post. Well, I got a question. Yeah. Is it the post or the wire that holds it? I think it's different times of year. They hmm. do different things. Like, if it's a shad spawn or something, they get on the wire. And if they just kind of trying to hide wall. out, oh, that's how Godwin says wire. Yeah. Well, they've got it on the wire. Boy. Wire for those listening. Yeah. Wire. Yeah. Yeah. Bob wire. But if it's, you know. Not Bob it, White. Bob wire. If it's later in the year, I think they get on that post and just sit there with their nose on it. Hmm. Trying to hide. Trying to be right. stealthy. They on, think on they, the shady side. They think side. they hit. Yeah, on the shady side. Yeah, the they shady think side. they hit. Behind yeah. it. Until you throw up there and they dope pop right, it. That's right. I went fishing yesterday. How was your fish? I saw your fishing trip via Instagram. How, well, as a man who is an heir to a tackle shop, how'd y'all do? We we I took a four year old. 
and a six-year-old, no, seven-year-old. Paul, what kind of boat were you in? Uh, aluminum boat. What? what, what John, how was it? Powered? John boat. John boat. Uh, yeah. Well, we're not sure exactly what it was. A uh, paddle. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Manual yeah. transmission. Yeah, he's he's cool. <laughs> he's sculling. No, he sculling. He's oh. sculling. I'm ma- oh. I'm sore. He wasn't sculling. Uh, oh, he, oh, oh, he's got one in. So yeah. I was pure motor. Yeah, I was not rookie. Uh, rookie. Yeah, I didn't. I casted like twice. Do you know how to scull a paddle? I don't uh, probably. I'm a pretty good paddler. Are you? Probably. No, I don't. You don't y'all know. got probably, I can tell you while you're talking. You means, don't know how to scull. Scull paddle. Which means what is don't that? Don't know how you what? paddle. Doing scull. I don't scull paddle. I don't. I'm gonna need to know. I might call it something different. I He'll Google it. it He'll Google it. Hey, later. Google it. Find out. <laughs> right. Google I just paddle. I ain't gonna tell you. My si, you boys. got a you got a pretty good story about school paddling field, don't you? Oh yeah. I mean, I, this is one of my favorite ones. Hey, here. look here. We skipped school. <laughs> one year. And, hey, the, hey, no, 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 no. Hey, this was one time we skipped school on my mother's orders. We get up, start getting dressed. She said, "Hey, no, no, put on old clothes. I'm fish hungry. Y'all going fishing today?" Yes, ma'am. Okay, look, we we're in there on the windowsill, like this with our eyes. So as Mickey, the bus driver, comes up, pop pop. Mom waved on. She goes, we jump in the Falcon. We already got everything loaded, just shiners, the uh, fishing poles, cane poles. Old River, we head in Gillum, Louisiana. Go up there, and it's, this is an old river where the river used to go, Red River. It's chain courses. Now this is a landlocked old river, okay? Lake. It's an oxbow. Yeah, oxbow. Yeah. Look, no trees. Too no low, trees. too old. They done died and sunk under the water. The stumps are rotting and everything else. Tree they gone. gone. But we look out there, and a commercial fisherman had come in there and stuck two willow limbs in the shallow side. So we pull up there and throw them shiners in there, and just as soon as it, the cork never stops running. Shoot. Under it go. Mm-mm. Now this is in the winter time, and it's about about 24 degrees. Okay, with about a 35 mile an hour northwest wind. Perfect duck hunting weather, but it ain't open. Yeah. So we both get one about a pound and a half. By the time we get them all, put a shiner on. We look back and hey, the little poles we just caught them at are up there about 150, 200 yards. <laughs> you know, that wind, wind that, blows that you. wind doesn't blow. Well, well hey, you set a power pole know, down. Hey, hey, yeah, I wish so. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we paddled back up there and do it again. Okay. Well, hey, we finally it hit us, dawned on us. Hey, now this ain't no work. We done done this three times. We ain't got but six fish. You know, and Phil said, "Hey, guess what?" I said, "What?" He said, "You being the youngest, you're gonna have to be a three and a half horse motor." And keep me right here around these poles. And I said, no, hold, oh, ho, ho, ho. He said, hey, Ma said she wanted some fish for supper. You got to do the paddling, son. So, hey, we had six. Let's see, 69 crappie later. So, so 75. Okay. 75. You know, so we got 75, you know. We go home, Mom's happy, you know. So the next day I got... Uh, we had to read a book and then have a give the written report to the teacher and then you got to tell them, tell the students, you know, what you read. So I get up there and start talking. About, All right, I read, you know, Tom Sawyer on the Mississippi with old Jim, you know. And they said, hey, <laughs> no, we Jim. don't want to hear that crap. We've all read that book, you know. Not you and Jim. Phil skipped school last Thursday. What did you do? You know, <laughs> I looked at Miss Jones and I said, you know, what's the deal? I, do I get to keep on with this <laughs> stupid book report, or do I tell you know about going crappie fishing? Allegedly, said, allegedly crappie fishing. Yeah, and she said, uh, "Just know this." And I said, "What?" She said, "You are being crazy on this." I said, "Fine, no problem." All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, and I go through the whole store. We're at the window sill with her eyeballs just rubbed it. Mickey come pop pop. Mom waves her on. You know, as soon as she, um, we get in the Falcon, we go to the old river. Oh. Now, this is winter time, 24 degrees, 35 mile an hour northwest wind. So I tell them the whole story, and I said, hey, 75 crappie at the end of this little deal. And she said, well, you know, Ms. Jones said, that's worth the C-. minus." 
I jump up off that stool and said, Woman, have you lost your flipping mind? <laughs> 75 crappie in a northwest 35 mile an hour wind, and I'm the motor for crying out loud. That's a triple A if I've ever heard it. Thank she said, All right, I'll make a deal with you. And I said, What's that? It better be, you better up to Annie here. She said, I'll give you a B minus. I said, deal. <laughs> <laughs> She'd have given you an A if you'd have brought her well, some of them crops. Yeah, well, you got it. Yeah, see, well, that was before we learned about that. Yeah, them teachers Phil work learned, in trade yeah, now. Yeah, Phil learned that in college. Mm -hmm. Mistake number one. So oh, yeah. your older brother made the baby paddle. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's the stair-step deal, okay? That didn't yeah. work. Youngest, me. youngest, he gets, you know, he gets the short end of the stick, so to speak. Well, you got the long end of the paddle, it oh, sounds yeah. like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, hey, that was a chore. Okay. And was, you just had to sit there and oh, skull no. in yeah, one spot. Because it was yeah. like, like I was washing clothes in a big old iron skillet outside. And he didn't even yeah. let you catch one more. No. You caught you three, and I that's it. I caught three, and that was it. That was your limit, son. Hey, now you got to let me catch the rest of them. <laughs> that's the way that goes, boys, when you're the youngest. Golly. You boy. get to, hey, it's like Jerry. Uh, I can't think his name. But anyway, he was a truck driver on Bandit. Like he used to say, hey, you know. Smokey in the Bandit. Yeah, yeah, Smokey in the Bandit. Yeah, <laughs> hey. She got the gold mine, and I got the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom line on that little trip, boys, oh, on the Lord. crappy trip. You oh. did get to eat them. Hey, well, I did do that. Yeah, But yeah. Phil got the gold mine, I got the shelf. And you made Mama happy. And, hey, Ma was happy. And uh, look. As long as Ma's happy? Hey, you got to keep Ma happy, because if Ma ain't happy, ain't nobody going to be happy, Jack. I can agree with that. Look, let's take our first break. We'll be right back. Well, hey, don't go away. We're coming right back. Guaranteed. That's right. Guaranteed. Si, did you know that you had an HR complaint filed against you this week? Nope. It was me. It was. Johnny D said that you were abusing him on the workplace. So that, you you I, just can't do that. The what direct, does HR stand for? The direct quote was pistol whip. Yeah. Oh. Mm, mm. That'll hey, get you. Hey, that'll get hey, you don't every talk, time. Don't talk bad about Matt Dillon, son. HR stands for Human Resources. Oh, Human Resources. Si. Yeah. Oh, he, he put a complaint in on me, huh? He, he mm. did. And when you're running a business like we do here, those HR issues can absolutely kill you. They can... Come in the forms of wrongful termination suits, minimum wage requirements, labor regulations, plus many, many more. And HR managers, their salaries ain't cheap. They average $70,000 per year. Bambi, spelled B-A-M-B-E-E, -E, was created specifically with a small business in mind. You can get an HR manager dedicated just for you for $99 a month. That's way cheaper than seventy grand a year. So... You can change your HR from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. Your dedicated HR manager is available by phone, email, or real-time chat. All you have to do is go to Bambi.com slash duck right now and schedule a free HR audit for your business. That's Bambi.com slash duck spelled BAM to the B-E-E dot -E com slash duck. You know what I'm going to do since I've been, I find out he put in a complaint on me? What's that? I hate to do something, you know, do time when I'm innocent. So now I'm going to pistol whip him, okay, where I'll be guilty of what he complained about. Where size from, he is the HR department. <laughs> That's right, boy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was Well, we didn't one. catch nothing. Hey, that was it. Oh, man. Doodly squat. All right, hey, we ready? Doodly squat. Said, Not great. Not great. <laughs> Let's go look at the ducks. That's that what was, he talked That was fantastic. I looked at yeah. him and said, are you having fun? He goes, um... Not great. Who's that? My son. We Who's we literally son? I paddled. Okay. And they were fishing. We had a car like Lightning McQueen. We're trying to catch stuff. It was yeah. I was just trying to be a good. You should have should have should have asked him, "Are you bored?" And if he said yes, tell me, "All right, hey, just bend over that seat, and I'll get that boredom off of you." <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't bored. Hey, he was I'll just put this paddle on your behind, and you'll get through that board oh, real quick. Lord, <laughs> he, was just, he was just he was just upset we couldn't catch fish. So then I said, "Well, you want to do it again next weekend?" He goes. Uh, maybe I'll go to Papa's house, which yeah. is my dad. He was like, "Yeah, go down to the pond." Well, okay. that's what we we were on my pond. I think he yeah. figured out like his uncle. Oh, his, Papa's is his, a fire hole. His so. Papa, 
Yeah. Yeah. His friend Willie all got oh, better yeah. ponds. Yeah. Better ponds yeah. than Dad goes to. Oh yeah, big big Dave got that hole. He get home and he don't feel like cleaning them. He just throw them in that pond. Hey, in whoa, his backyard. whoa! Don't worry about yeah. that. Everybody. That's a good thing though. Oh, it is. They're yeah. dumb yeah. as a box yeah. of rocks. Oh yeah, no, no, we hey, we filmed an episode on that. Yeah, Dynasty. Yeah, we caught, caught a too. lot of fish too. Yeah. Everybody. And I thought you were gonna throw Jessica in the lake. Oh, we should have just tossed her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. He should have tossed her because hey, that would have never, never stopped. Look, I tell you this: you talk about tossing Jessica. Look, you married to a mean redhead. Oh. If I'd have tossed that blonde-headed woman in, oh that no, thing, no, that's why I was hopefully I was like this. Please uh -oh. door in the fleet oh, door. Oh, yeah. I'd I have got my tail. Hey, tore I had up, my son. prayer. I had my prayer hands. I'm like, please door in there, Mark. You, you, oh, well. you just want to see me oh. get whooped. Well, huh? no, hey, I just want to you know, start something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, with that, it would have it would have went remember, on for years. I remember we was over there filming in that pond. You jumped in the, you jumped in, and that guy, the Mike guy, was going. Oh, no, no. Well, no, you no. Hey, I told him. I told him this was in July for crying out loud. Yeah. It's a hundred degrees. We out there filming in waiters, no less. And I said, "Hey, fellas," and they said, "What?" I said, uh, "We took like a minute break, you know, for them to re re uh, load camera." And I said, I'm fixing to get wet. And they said, no, you can't do it. I said, you're not listening. You don't understand. I'm fixing to get wet. Well, hey, they left the mic in there. Hey, and the next thing, whoa, off the pier. He did, too. <laughs> you know, he I, said, he just uh, jumped in the lake. No, no, that's about $2,500 mic equipment. Okay. Yeah. You know. It's gone. And, hey, hey. and they said, I, I said, uh-uh. I tell y'all. Got to teach them a lesson at some point. You warned them. I mean, what I else do you do? <clears throat> That's all I can do. That's like, you know, saying with all due respect before you say something mean to somebody. Right. It, it right. clears you, you know. Right. I don't okay. think that clears you. Do what? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah it clears yeah. you. No, no, because, hey, y'all just reminded me of my whole military career. <laughs> with all due respect, <laughs> sir. All right. With all due respect, <laughs> sir. <laughs> You don't want to ask me that question because I guarantee you, I know you're not going <laughs> to like the answer. Okay. He ain't going to like the answer. No, no, I'm serious. Serious. But I, it, I, it clears you for anything. No, if no. you start your it answer with that. It doesn't clear you for nothing. Yes, it yeah. does. It just means you know you've been caught. Or you know that you're about to do no, something. No, ain't no going to be I caught. It's pretty. I'm, <laughs> hey, I've warned you beforehand. You oh, don't want respect. to do this. Yeah. If they don't want to hear it, it's there, it's up to them to, to stop then it stop right you. There. Like, no, 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 no. With no, all due respect, you need to watch Madlock. A good lawyer <laughs> never asked the person on the stand the question unless he already knows the answer. Because he may surprise you with something that you were not prepared for. And the judge says, guilty. <laughs> Do you watch a lot of Madlock? Oh, I watch a lot of that. Oh. That and uh, Matt Dillon. <laughs> that's why That's why I want to slap you upside the head with a pistol. I'm just waiting for the day that you do it. That's it, hey. I'm ready hey, for look, it. It'll probably just be the size of a goose egg. That's fine. And it'll go down unless they hit you hard, and then you're going to be gone. Yeah, it'll <laughs> you'll, go down. You'll be He'll go down. You'll, you'll be standing at the pearly gates and asking St. Peter, uh, what happened? <laughs> the last thing I remember, we were doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he said, was well, that idiot sitting beside you? At 45, he laid it upside your head, and he done it a little too hard. Uh, <laughs> speaking of that clown sitting beside you, have you taken time to look at his shirt? Oh, the J.D. There's a lot going on beside me. You need to read this. Yeah, J.D., read it. Read, read it for it. everybody that may not be able now to. Now I lay me down to sleep beside my bed. I'm going to a gun, a gun yeah. I keep. If I awake and you're inside the corners van, it will be your last ride. <laughs> <laughs> Sign Robertson. Let this oh. be a warning. Uh, you don't want to mess with this old idiot. Uh, with all due respect, you do not want to mess <laughs> with this there old idiot. Right. There, there you go. go. Uh, see, there you're you figuring go. it out. You actually got the message. Thank uh, you. Now, see, look, here's where I'm going to give you another one. With all due respect, so, which truck stop did you get that shirt from? <laughs> I, I wish I had one of them big wallets about that long with a chain you could use for a tow truck. I'm surprised right. that wasn't a prerequisite to no, purchase no, that, that shirt. I, I didn't like, get this out of a truck stop. Where did you get it? I done an event in Gilmer, Texas for the first responders. 
And I got this out of the Arctotech gun store. Okay. Because they had it on the wall, and it was a small. And I said, that ain't going to work. That won't work. I said, I need it in a large. Go get me one. Yeah. That <laughs> so ain't. before I left, I got it. Yeah. Oh, Gilmer, Texas. Goodness. You bought it at the gun store? At Arctotex. Arctotex gun store. In store. Gilmer, Texas. Gilmer, Texas. And the Gilmer. man that owns it is called Les, and I can't remember his life. We call him Evil Eye. <laughs> 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 What hey, were well, you? Hey, hey, shout out what? to old Eli. Hey, no, no, Phil gave him that nickname, okay? And whatever Phil nicknames somebody, as far as he's concerned, he'll die with that name. I guarantee you. Yeah. Robertson trait. Because yeah. we had a cameraman, and Phil named him after. I got to tell this. We go <laughs> duck hunting. Hold on, is this PG? No, no, no. no, no. It's, it's, it's clean, it's family. Right, it's we go as, duck hunting. This Thursday. is whole no legs. Okay, it? yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, Phil's got on his hip boots, okay? The next day, this fellow, I don't remember what his name is now, but anyway, he showed up and said, oh, I forgot my I forgot my hip boots. And Phil said, well, you can wear mine, you know? So look, we're walking in a line going to where we're going to hunt in the timber, flooded timber, we're going to stand shoot wood ducks, and, uh, you know, he says, oh, guys, oh, I, I went underwater. And, oh, these boots, he said, no, these boots leak. And Phil said, they don't leak, I wore them yesterday. And we turned around, <laughs> he had them pulled up, and Phil named him from that day on. He said, oh, I see your problem. He said, you ain't got no legs. Yeah. And hey, he's no legs. From then yeah. on, every time you tell me, there was no legs. Oh, no legs. Tell me, is yeah. no legs coming today? Was he short? He was short. He was yeah. short. Yeah. He yeah. just had a really long yeah. torso. Really yeah. long. He had all his, all his what, or, or height was from like his belly up. Hey, his legs were just about that long. Oh, no legs. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. I can uh, confirm the Arklatex gun store, though. Because hey. Cy is their profile picture on <laughs> 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 Hey, yes. uh, hey. Yes. tell me that's what I'm talking about. Boy, uh, hey, the teacups they, they on there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you go to an event there recently? Yeah, yeah he was like there this, this weekend. weekend. Like, oh, that was this yeah. weekend. Oh. Yeah. Friday, uh, Friday, uh, Saturday, oh, Sunday. That's what y'all talking about. I'm, and I yeah. actually went pet pig hunting. I didn't kill but one thing. What'd you kill? We drove was driving in dark blackout drive, okay, and we're going over a a levee on a pond. Well, they looked and saying something rippling, so we stopped. You know, and it was probably beaver. It was either beavers or news rats. You know, and they said, come around and shoot this. You know, so at first, as soon as I got around there, he went under. Mm-hmm. You know, and I said, okay. We said, he said, just sit there. He'll come back up. They was telling him it was pigs. You know, so I'm looking for a stupid pig. No, it wasn't no pig. It, it wasn't no pig. I'm looking, and they said, oh, he just come up over on the right, you know. What was it? Yeah. Well, it was a, it was a neutral rat or a beaver. Well, hey, I a just, water rodent. Yeah, I just seen mm-hmm. the ripple, you know. So I've got this night vision scope on this gun, so I, whop, you know. Got him. Got him. Then he started moving a little bit, and I just, pow, whop. Then that time it was. And he went to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. All he the way he'd probably the bottom. be floating by the oh, day. Oh, no. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be bloated by the day. Yeah. yeah. He smelled good. Stone today. killed mm. three. Uh, what? Philip McMillan killed one. Stone killed one of them out there about 250 hondo. 250 hondo. That's yeah. Oh, no. And there was one in his way. This one. It was. 25,000? I don't know what number 250 hondo what? is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three seconds. I'm serious. Point. It was about that long. Yeah. What? Oh no! <laughs> uh oh! Careful! Oh, careful! Hey, whatever and he's there. saying right now is ninety-five percent true, boy. It's a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Fat Boy Willie's coming. <laughs> and he's a bye, boy. boss. Yeah. See you, boss. <laughs> That's right. See you, boss. He uh, texted me a minute ago and said, "Come in here. I need to talk to you." And I was like, "I'm doing something with the side. I don't know how to handle it. We don't know how to break it up, boys." Oh, I'm not here. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, wow. that, you know, a willy breaks is a good reason as to take but any other But we did break. kill oh. six pigs. Six pigs. Trip, six pigs in that, plus five neutral rats or beavers. Five. Ooh, so that's 11. Right, that's 11. Neutral right, rats on gun. or no, beavers. beavers. Yeah. Unidentified water rodents. <laughs> that's right. That all needed killing. Oh, yeah. Nuisance. That needed killing. Nuisance. Yeah. Nuisance. They're going to cut the levees. They're going to do something. So they, they're going to dig holes. They're going to build dams. And they're going to stop the water up. Yeah. We don't Especially need that. when you're draining it. And we don't need that this and time we don't of need year. It. No. Yeah. I got a beaver problem, well, too. 
Do you? Yeah, out of my 60 acres. <laughs> oh, only 60 acres. There's your man right you beside you. get them things out of there. You walk you out there. You need treatment. to go to the Oklahoma. They'll fix you up with thermal vision, rifle, all of it, ammo. Hey, you with you, me? And hey. if you buy all that, you get that shirt for free. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> now, hey, I ain't going to make that deal on the podcast. They making money charging this, okay? Oh, they may give Lord. you a discount, uh, you know, JD, if you told them I sent you. Just because I know you. <laughs> a, a small one. I, a small one. I've been trying to get you and Willie's crumbs for years, so I, I appreciate that. Right. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Well, look, with all due respect, let's take a break. All right, boy, we're taking a break. It is backed by 35 years of research and development. So, si, what am I talking about? You're you talking already about know. Omega XL, boys. And what does it do? Hey, it's for information. That's what I'm talking about. And it about. takes away the pain, boys. It does take away the pain. It doesn't just mask the problem. Omega XL neutralizes the inflammation that causes painful, stiff joints and muscles. Now, ain't that something, Gavin? Mm. You ever had a stiff joint? Yeah. What about a sore muscle? muscle? Oh, man. I threw that ass chest up there the other day in uh -oh. the back of my yep. truck. Bad news. M muscles. Whew. Yeah. So you ain't a man that should be lifting stuff quite that high. You know, you're a little vertically exactly. challenged. So, yeah. I mean, that, that'll that wrench a man's back. I you know. know. Guaranteed. But, you know, the cool thing is it is backed by 35 years of research and development. It comes from the pristine waters of New Zealand. It is Omega XL. By now, you know it helps Cy Robertson in his recovery efforts. Yep. So, that was good enough for me. If you're suffering with aches and pains and stiffness, you need to try it now. Let us help get you started. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. That's 800-844-4888. Omega It'll XL. Work. It work. 35 years of research and development, and guess what? It's working for you. Hey, reach over and slap him. <laughs> him. He's making all that racket. Would you? Hey, I didn't. Hey, you talking about a light. That thing's like a gun, son. Watch what no, you're No, no, this is. Hey, Jason's going to end up with this. This is a frog gigging light. I mean, heavenly. Well, a young, a young fellow. Is it off? No, it's not off. Is it off? No. No. Is it off? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. It's right. off. Sai's got well, a flashlight hey, on his head, everybody. Thank whoever left this here for me. Appreciate I, it. Jason going to end up with because hey, it's perfect froggy. That right? was a young fella from just outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. About an hour. Hey, hey, about an hour. I knew that. About an hour from Knoxville. Yeah. About about a hat hour. with I a flashlight. There's some good people in Tennessee. Knoxville, boy. like that I, place on uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, it's a uh -huh. geographical oddity. It's an Do hour not from everywhere. Seek your treasure yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> That was probably like My for coon. They probably Tennessee. used it for coon hunting, though. Yeah, that's what they were. They's coon hunter. Coon yeah. hunter. No, I ain't Boo. a coon hunter. Jay's going to use for frog games. <laughs> and we got an old smoky coon hound up in there now. Oh, man. He's running, boys. He's on the trail. That's old Jim. <laughs> He'll be there first, I promise. Uh, yeah, you know. forget how good God would is at sound effects. He is a sound board. We don't even need a computer or anything. No. Because when we first did it, I was like, we need like buttons to press to make funny noises. And I just totally sold Godwin short yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have, <laughs> have, him, have him hooked to electricity. That way, when you press the button, he'll, he got to do something. Fire, fire yeah. Yeah. It's hey, time. No, no. That would be actually good because you'd never know what was going to be coming out of him when you press that button. Oh, that's right. I, <laughs> you never know what you'll get. That's right. You'll never know what you'll get, boy. Just like Christmas morning. You right. don't know that's what right. you're going to get. Hey, you got to open this package up, baby, before you know what's in it. I know some right. people open up their package for Christmas. Shame on them. <laughs> Shame. I'm just going to let you two go. Shame now. on them. <laughs> Did y'all open it for Christmas? I'd look. I oh. peek. No, no. You don't peek? You're one You're no. a liar. No, I'm not. We did peek, okay? This is the Christmas gift. We would go. Yep. He's shaking. Shake it. it. Shake it. See, when Mama was smart enough, hey, she'd always pat it where it wouldn't make a sound. 
Yeah, there you go. I have no idea what that is. If you're wondering why Duck Dynasty was successful, that was a quick little snippet. Oh, a snippet of God once said okay, some we're... people peek their Christmas <laughs> gifts before Christmas. That's terrible. Uh, so you, you look at your Christmas gifts for Christmas? You pick a look? I bet you do. Pick a look? I'm sure I did when I was a kid. I didn't. I tried to when I was a kid, but well, I no. never stopped. But well, my, say what you my do. mom had that weird roll of light. You can open one now if you want to, but I'm going to take it back. So it's like, right. well, hey, that, well, then, that, that, that now here's the move. Here's the move. Right. You go under the Christmas tree and you say, I'm going I'm to look and see how many presents I got. If you pick it up on the corner, that wrapping paper is fishing a rip. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> Not for my I mom. Need, my need mom need uses that premium wrapping paper. Like you, you borderline can't tear that stuff. Well, premium you got to paint it when you pick it up. Paint so, yeah. yeah, if, if mom ever heard that. Here comes the paddle. Yeah. Okay. I, With holes drilling in it. Where Gowan, the, whistle, Gowan where the been, whistle's coming toward you. Gowan been pinching corners yeah. on his Christmas presents just because yeah. so, you can't wait. Well, then what are you going to do about this Sunday in the Easter basket? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. That got a laugh out of him. I He's, don't know. I get them. I can't do nothing with that because it's, it's always happens at night. That Easter bunny, he's slick. <laughs> no, that's what I was just to tell y'all. I stayed up trying to catch Santa Claus, and every time I saw somebody, it looked a lot like Daddy. Really? Yeah. I think they wrote a country yeah. song. I think it's buddy. Hey, really? Yeah. Well, hey. I got no clue. He ain't got no clue. You don't know that song? I don't know. Santa look a lot like yeah. Daddy, or Daddy looked a lot like like, him. like Santa Claus. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. That's why I got that. I know you did. I made that junk up. I knew it was from the song. <laughs> <See? laughs> <laughs> He's a pro's that's pro, why, people. That's why it comes to my, my mind just so quick. It was I a told song. You, that's boy. how his life works. He tells <laughs> next he'll be telling the plot to Goodwill Hunting about this time he was in school. You know, I mean, it's just that's the way he operates. It's just <laughs> whatever you say, Ooh. it always every goes story is true. Transferable right. to sight. How did That's we right. get? How did we That's get right. to fall already? I don't know. Right. Hey, what? you don't. No, let me tell y'all. Tell me. We left Friday morning around what nine o'clock? No, nine forty. This better be a critical detail. No, 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 no. Meanwhile, <laughs> hey, no, no. Spring has sprung. Okay, oh, I guarantee. You. Not okay. at nine. At nine forty. Yeah. Yo, no, no. We left and went to Texas. Watched it. Okay, and when we started back oh, from over there. At uh, nine o'clock again. Okay, this time nine, not nine forty. <laughs> yeah, we started. Okay, and the <laughs> when we was going over, the limbs were bare. It just they had just started to bud out. When we came back, three days now, fully. all fully leaved. Three That's days. why. Hey, and for you folks that don't know, what you have just witnessed is resurrection power. I just had to throw that in there. Three days. Just three, three, three days. days. Oh, three and days hey, that's biblical. I ain't, <laughs> hey, that's even biblical. That's biblical, boys. Yeah. I kept waiting for the, in the tomb three days. I kept Pastor. waiting for the tie. Well, hey. I was like. That's Pastor Cy right here. It's there. Like, it's <laughs> on a tee for you. <laughs> that's right. Hey. Yeah. But, Knock it down right. the fairway. But that three is. Hundos. That is what we get to celebrate this weekend. That's and it. that's, uh, we, you know, we always. You get caught up in everything, and what what we're really celebrating is the fact that that tomb is in fact empty. That's there, what we're celebrating. There are no bones in that tomb, boys. Guaranteed. And uh, man, that's pretty awesome. Easter is always a it's always a fun holiday because there's unlike a lot of like Christmas, Christmas and all that's fun, but sometimes the weather can be like pretty crappy. You know, like I mean, it can be cold, miserable. Or you catch one of them eighty degree days in December, you're like, golly, it's hot and miserable. And it's but always Easter is always like pretty level headed. I mean, and you know, like once you go eat your Easter dinner, we can go fishing. Mm-hmm. We can go there's a hundred different things you Drop can do. Bite. And the times change, so it's daylight till like eight o'clock oh, at yeah. night. Yep. So you know, gives you time to find Easter eggs. You st- you still hunt Easter eggs, don't you, Gavin? Not well He no. don't hunt them. Yeah, no. He don't hunt them. But he does eat them. I do eat them. <laughs> he does eat them. Just I like a that. deer. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's like that blind hog. He's going to find that Easter egg. Oh, okay. There's still yeah. nieces yeah. and nephews around. That is. Yeah. Hey, 
Oh, I we hit Easter eggs this past weekend with my nieces, and oh. we're still short one, so I'm sure I'll find that with a lawnmower at some point. Right. We, <laughs> yeah. we put out 20, we got 19. That's so. cool when they hit that. Hey, that ain't eight. bad. It wasn't the good one, though, is it? No, nah, it was just that ain't like bad. regulation the plastic. The one egg's got something good in it. Yeah, it got like a 20 in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the mm. one you want. Did, that's not the one that's missing, is no. it? I hope that ain't the one that's missing, boy. I was about to head to Mark. No, because I put, no, I put think, out the one with the 20 and I found it. Oh. oh, come on, man. I, that ain't no fun. No, nah, I know. I made them split it, though. If one of them did it, they I just I gave them both 10 instead of one of them finding 20. I didn't yeah. want to deal with a fight. So. Oh, yeah, you start oh. a family feud, dude. Yeah, Ooh. no, I didn't, want to, I didn't want to deal with that. Yeah, but good work. Hey, I done good watched work. the fight and then gave them 10 apiece. <laughs> <laughs> that's just well, me besides that you okay. can't put a price on a good scrap yeah. between right, siblings right, yeah. right. <laughs> good hair pulling right, right. Oh, oh that's Lord. good stuff right. what are you, do you have easter plans huh do you have easter plans yeah i'm gonna go to church okay well, uh, yeah, hey but, uh, how cool how weird is that last easter we didn't go to church that's true. Yeah. No, we, no that's, we were stuck watching online yeah. and all that. Yeah. So I think every, and all that. everybody's yeah. fired up to go to church. But like, are you family cooking out? No, we're doing. No, it. hey, look, I've done got to the point. If I'm gonna go to cookout, it's gonna be at someone else's house, and that person is Mr. J Stone, because everything he cooks is. As the French would say, <laughs> okay, it's, it is wonderful. So Stone's not cooking on Easter. Uh, well, he may be, but he ain't invited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows not to invite you to I, the day yeah, before. If you see this podcast, Jay, <laughs> yeah, and you're cooking Easter, yeah, guess what? Um, Invitation time. Yeah. Guess what? Well, just tell I'm him coming. you're coming over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tell him you want to have an Easter domino match. He'll have to yeah. cook. Well, you. no, oh, we yeah. hey, we do that. Yeah. Quite frequently. Yeah. Okay. Guaranteed. No, that is. Easter's always. Are you going to be wearing your Easter best? Like seersucker suit? No, no, look. Like, in the or are you going to wear that shirt? No. I'm just I'm going to wear this. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm going to wear this and display this proud of <laughs> you know, And like I said before, this is a warning to those that come by my house and even have the thought of, he may have some money in there. That's I've got something else better for you. I'm fixing to send you on your way. <laughs> where, where are they headed? Uh, where? If you've been bad, you're going <laughs> to, you're going down. Okay. If you've been good, you wouldn't be in my house. And you, <laughs> hey, you're not going to get the coroner's ride. <laughs> yeah. You no. Been. When y'all was talking about Christmas, I had to. My sister was a nurse. Okay. She would come in, you know, every once in a while to take a break from college on Christmas. Whatever, okay. And look, her brothers, you know, mainly Tommy Thomas Sidney Robertson, would catch like a grass snake. <clears throat> now she's a nurse, so anytime she come home, we'd run to her with something that we needed. Hey, check and see if you can do something about this cut or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, and she would, you know, clean it with uh, peroxide and then put a bandaid on it, or whatever. You know. So t Tommy caught him a big old grass snake one time, and he. He wrapped it in between his fingers. And when you squeezed it perfectly for a, a couple of minutes, it would turn purple, yellow, green. Just It looked horrible. His you know, hand so, or the snake? No, no, the, the snakes. Oh. Okay, but he had it. It looked like his, his knuckles. Yeah. And we're climbing around. You know, we come in front of him, we're climbing around, punching. You know. <laughs> With the snake? And, yeah. And look, Tommy swung at Phil and Phil ducked. And he act like he hit the wall, and he's, yeah, I think I broke my hand. Yo, so here comes Judy. <laughs> Y'all ain't right. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. I know what's about no, to come. No, but anyway, right. she grabbed his hand like this. About that time, he opened his fingers, that snake's head come up. <laughs> yeah. Yo, know, she fainted. You know, she she fell. Yeah. yeah. So oh, would you if I did no, no. that to you oh, no. right now? Oh, yeah, I'll kill you. Yeah. That's yeah. what <laughs> It wouldn't be no fine. I would send you to heaven. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> at least okay. I've been good. <laughs> hey, I would yeah. go to the pen, but you would go immediately to heaven, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what did he do? Look, it was justified, Judge. He come at me with a snake. Uh, so I shot the snake, and unfortunately, he had it right in front of his heart. You know, and the bullet went to him. 
Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to block it. Uh, yeah. Size over here, Size over here telling a story about something funny that would give him a massive heart attack. Oh, yeah, I'm telling, oh, no. oh yeah. Uh, hey, look, if one ever bit me down there when I was on Phil's property, especially a cotton mouth, the poison wouldn't have time to kill me. <laughs> okay, because, hey, I'm gone with a heart attack. It's gone. It's gone. No. Uh, yeah. Tell me what killed him, Doc. Heart attack. Yeah. Tell me he, he died. Okay, yeah. you remember now? No, no. He died because of fright. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. When Lord, he seen him man. hit his leg, that was it. Well, we've been from Easter to Christmas, back to Easter, back to Christmas. Right. Back to snakes, baby. That's right. Back to yeah. snake, boys. For now, we're going to go to break town. Let's take one more oh. break, boys. <laughs> if you're a business owner, you might be making running your business harder on yourself than necessary. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down anymore. It is time to upgrade to NetSuite. NetSuite gives you everything in one place so you can stop paying for multiple systems that don't give you the information you need when you need it and ditch the spreadsheets and all the old software that you've outgrown. Now is the time to upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle, the world's number one cloud business system. NetSuite gives you visibility and control over your financials, inventory, e-commerce, and more. Everything you need is all in one place instantaneously. Whether you're doing a million or hundreds of millions in revenue, save time and money with NetSuite. Join over 24,000 companies using NetSuite right now. They can even give you marketing insight about your customer. Let NetSuite show you how they'll benefit your business with a free product tour at netsuite.com slash duck. Schedule your free product tour right now at netsuite.com slash duck. That's netsuite.com slash duck. Oh, you would die if somebody did that to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. It was you funny. Like it was funny at the time, but hey, look, we all got a butt whipping. Hey, on. look, I got a good one for hey, you. Hey, Mama was equal opportunity. Okay, mm-hmm. she didn't care who did it. Get in line. Okay, get in line, cause hey, I know I'm gonna get the right one, cause mm-hmm. none of us were squealers. Oh, we wasn't. We wasn't squeal on each other. Nobody which, dimed each I, other. Out. Yeah. How stupid is that? <laughs> You know, I don't know why I took a beating. I should have just went in and squealed said, he did it. That's because most of the time it was you. Yeah. Hey, no. And then all of you would get it anyway. Now, hey, now we, we got me. Yeah. Hey, me and Tommy got a mini of whipping when Mama would give us worm wheels. Uh, worm wheels. Are we back? Worm Worm, worm, worm pills. Worm pills. Phil oh. would throw his behind the o- oven, okay, and me and Tommy would take our and Mama would whoop us and then deworm us again. So we had to take that awful tasting thing twice. I was on that ivermectin back then. Yeah. Oh, no, boo, that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey, it didn't make any difference how fast you swallowed it. No, nah, it left the taste in your mouth. Oh, I'm glad I don't was have it to a jail? Was it a jail capsule? Uh, it was big as a horse, you know. No, it was a horse. Horse pill. It just, was you know, a horse yeah. pill. Yeah. yeah. Ivermectin. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. <laughs> ivermectin. Nice. Oh, Lord have wow. mercy. Golly. Mm, 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 mm. Johnny D. You yeah, said you had something interesting, current oh, event yeah. we needed to discuss uh, before we got in there. There's a current event. Where, well, where are we at? A few weeks ago, uh, I think Philip McMillan was in here. We talked about bald people because the world found out that Martin is, in fact, bald. Going bald. So is Goblin. Yeah. And Goblin's yeah. bald. And we, well, Goblin wasn't here, and we started discussing, you know, bald people are well, cool. Well, are they cool? Well, are, yeah. are they cool? That's right. Are they cool? Well, of course they are. Yeah. Why wouldn't I, they be? That was my vote. Yeah. They are cool people. <laughs> me, yeah. me and Cy both agree. But uh, apparently we went through a list of cool bald people, and uh, Ronnie from Perry, Georgia, was very upset that we didn't bring up Godwin. <laughs> but Godwin's got such a good-looking goatee, you don't think of him as bald. That's right. That's yeah. my bad, little buddy. Yeah. I thought we talked yeah. about you. I'm I sorry. don't know. Ronnie yeah. says we didn't. I'm sorry, little buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm hey, look, he looked plan. like he's put some wax on there and, and had a guy that bu- uh, buff his shoes. A uh, chuk. Buffer. Yeah, it does and have pop a that sp- head. Yeah. yeah. I, can, you know, I need to go <laughs> ahead. Well, Hi. I need to just go ahead and shave it. That's it. Wait, that, that way. That shave way. It. That's not look, shaved? No. no. Look, no the there's reason, more there? Yeah. The reason yeah. I, oh, I got some on the back. Uh. Three quarters of it's shiny, and then the other part around the edges is not shiny. Mm. There's hair. It there. looks good, there's but hair. I guarantee you. So we didn't just name. <laughs> we didn't name Jason Alexander. Paula loves it, don't she? Either, did. <laughs> Jason Alexander. George from Seinfeld. Yeah. George Costanza. George. Yeah. 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 He's bald. Yeah. yeah. George. Of course he is. Well, well, no, he's not bald. 
Well, yeah. he's got the. I don't he even was, know. Yeah, you know, he looked like a baseball. Well, yeah. that the that the uh, strings have turned black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm just telling well, you, that's what it looks. The thread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the threads have turned black. Yeah. You know? Well, he's like me, kind of got that lace. toilet seat head going. Looks like <laughs> yeah. a toilet seat around the top of your head. That's the it. Lace. Hang on. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, like a bird go ahead. You got a bird in there, so there's an egg in it. There's something that's bo- bothering me, uh, be- and mainly in defense of you two, because Google did a study and named the world's sexiest bald man. Stone Cold. And Mr. It, Clean. It's neither of you. Well, no, that's, that's offensive, but I'm going to go ahead and say this. Y'all are better looking than the human being that was named the world's sexiest bald man. Who is? Telly Savalas. Nope. No. Nope. Prince yeah. William. Prince William? Oh, Look that's... this guy. That, he ain't sexy. He ain't bald-headed. <laughs> and he ain't sexy. He's just got the that's name it. Prince. Hello, yeah. Prince. Yeah. Hello, Governor. And he's got like a little tuft of hair going on. But that's hey, in the hey, news hey, this week. Hey, hey, hey. Don't uh, hate on tufts, son. Okay. I, mean, I, got, okay. I got him. I'm hey. just saying... He just got a big forehead. And what? All. He got a five head. Uh, well, no, just think if we yeah. let our if we <laughs> let our hair go, it'd just be a mullet. Yeah, that's pretty it much a natural mullet. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, Simon. That's good, Simon. I told you. I told you. Cool skull. people are cool, boys. Ball headed people are cool. Ball headed people are cool. I, tell you, I just. Hey. A lot of the internet is upset that Prince William was named better looking than The Rock and other people. But I, I agree. I'm, I'm upset Rock. for yeah. you two because. Oh, tell us about yeah. it. Should have won. Me him. too. I, it's, but it's all because his name is Prince. And what does that even mean? Yeah. It means he parties yeah. like it's 1999. <laughs> That a cooler prince. Hey, Rest in peace. Hey, the music prince is the one you're talking about, boys. No, but I just don't. The we have some listeners from the UK. Yeah, look, our listeners and, from the UK. Can y'all explain to us what the royal family is and is, or does? Y'all got a president. Y'all got a queen. Y'all got a prince. There's one prince. He's like a hundred years old. And then all of a sudden they're on our TV and I'm supposed to know what's happening. And yeah. I don't know what's happening. Do you know what's happening? No. And they got prime ministers right. and parliaments. And, and how it, many countries are in that country? How many countries are in that country? That's exactly right. It's like Dallas. There's 200 cities in Dallas. That's right. Sorry. 200 cities within Dallas, Dallas. Dallas and Fort Worth. DFW. Uh, but DFW. there's... but. And then they're like, hey, we're England for soccer, but we're the United Kingdom for swimming. And then for golf, though, they're like Northern Ireland and Scottish, and and, there's, and they got everything. I just, like, if someone from there, and we've got a few emails from there, could just, just condense it. Give us the easy, the, simple version of what y'all got going on on that island. Of y'all need to watch BBC. How many countries are in that country? <laughs> I need that question answered. Well, every time I watch BBC, before we, it's always something about America. Thank you. I don't like. I don't well, that ain't it. bad. No, but I mean, I'm like, yeah. why are you BBC? Hey, they do have good. What's that thing? Midsummer Murders. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I watched that. That's a good series. But, and then Father Brown. The no, no, the other one's Father Brown. They got, he's a, I, I he's a priest, them. and he always solves the murders. Well, they got Doctor Who. I know that. All right. So. Oh, that, that oh ain't, that, I don't know that. That ain't, that ain't who the band is. <laughs> no. Oh, and my they, daughter they, loved, I was just checking. Yeah. Then they run Planet Earth all the time. Planet That's Earth. Like, they did Planet Earth first. Yeah. Oh. And it's awesome. And I actually like the British narrator more than the American narrator. I really prefer Snoop Dogg. Does Snoop Dogg? Oh, I you like, talked about No, no. Hey, yeah. hey, I'm with him on that. Snoop Dogg has got it down pat, boys. <laughs> Hey, I'm serious. Snoop, if you're hey, listening, that's right. Get Snoop, in this hey. chair. Let's talk to Uncle Si. This that's could it, be boy. fun. Hey. Oh no, that would Please. be a trip. Uh, to have Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I, that would be. Fun. I will sit out 400 episodes in a row in order to get Snoop Dogg <laughs> right. right here that's in right. this chair, hey, right here beside. And I just want to sit on hey. the floor. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that would be yeah. good. That would be good. But anyway. So a prince is the world's sexiest bald man because he's a prince. But it's like his grandpa's a prince bald-headed. too. So is he a prince? What's he's in charge of? Yeah, well, Who's the queen in charge of? Why is the wedding such a big uh, deal? The queen's in charge of the family, trying to keep them under control. What family? The royal family. The royal family. But what's, who's in charge of everything else? So if you got a queen. No one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know what's happening. Hey, we don't know what's happening. Well, how come that I need a fourth grade civics lesson in England? And why does your soccer team name different 
than oh, your swimming team. You just hey. had to take kick our no, no, tails no. in hey. soccer every year. It's yeah, fun. but we beat them in swimming, and they get like seven other countries to join up with them. Hey, I, got Phelps is like, I got a question. I don't care. You might have to Google it. I will Google Why it. do they drive on the wrong <laughs> side of the road? Why do – yeah. We they got, probably asked us the same question. And what's up well, with that metric system? Okay, Ooh, hold on. Hey. I'm yeah. going to say something yeah. about the metric oh, system, hey, gonna and go. I'm going to get in oh. trouble here. And later, we're going to talk about bidets uh, again. Well, J.D., you stay in trouble. Uh, we're going we're gonna to bring bidets back up because I'm with them on that, too. Bidets. The metric system's bidets. not a bad system. Bidets. No, the metric system actually makes math 100 times Well, easier. it's confusing. No, it's well, not. Yeah, it is when you got you got metric tools and you got the United States tools. Well, it is, and if everybody SAT. would just go metric, that would be a lot easier on all of us. But I'm just saying. Um, well, maybe I don't want to go metric. <laughs> America, I, son. Hey, I, like, I don't want to go heavy metal. I want a half inch, not a 13 uh, millimeter. Dead uh, gummit. Right. <laughs> hey, give me the half inch. It's easier. So Why does they say it's easier? They drive on the left to keep their sword hand free. What? It started Wait, what? way back when they had swords. They're, they're ah. carrying swords. So if a stranger passed on the right of you, so you're yeah. like in a, a Knight's Tale. But what if you're like left-handed? You have to. Then you don't. You don't need to be on the road anyway. Then you, you have, have to, to go protect reverse. your lady. Hey, yeah. I, no, I so, got news for y'all. We don't carry swords anymore. So get on the right side. <laughs> of get the, on the right side of the road. But I guess if you're in a shootout, hey. it would actually be easier. If you're driving on the left side of the road. I just don't understand why they get in on that side of the vehicle. Hey, it's like it. everybody's got a mail yeah, truck. That's where the yeah. door is. Yeah, that's all a bunch of mail delivery over guys here. up there. Oh, and he's in the passenger seat. They ride in side saddle, boy. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no. Guarantee. No. With their sword hmm. hanging out the window. Oh, this is just one of life, little... Hmm. Well, it's one of the United Kingdom, England, Britain, sure. whatever you want to call it, because nobody knows except for the people over there. Please email us. I've yeah, got so many right. questions. Enlighten us. And for the life of me, I don't Prince know. Prince William name. Having been there, I have no idea how haggis caught on. Haggis? Mm, they ain't had no boudin. That's yeah. why I ain't caught on. Yeah, that stuff wasn't I haven't good. been to England. I've been to Ireland. Name Blood it. pudding, terrible. Uh-oh. Ireland was cool. Ireland's all right. Yeah, you yeah, get like maters egg. and eggs with breakfast. Uh, my, beans, my, baked my, beans. My, hey, isn't that baked bean like, bag? Like everything I ate there was just like roast gravy and potatoes. Yeah. I was down with that. Hmm. Uh -oh. This just goes to show you, you really never know where we're going to end up on this show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been bugged yeah. by the royal family hey, my right. whole life. Hey, we've been discussing England's political situation here. <laughs> We said we wouldn't do politics. <laughs> Parliament, <laughs> kings, right, right. queens, right. prime we'll, ministers. Right. We will only hand me one of them mop wigs, <laughs> and I'll be judged for the day. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I got to take a break because right. I can't take breathe. a break, boy. <laughs> he said, "Hand oh. me one of them mop wigs." <laughs> They're going to love this. England is. Oh. We're going to get hammered, boys. No, they're going to love it. Oh, we're going to get hammered. Which right, way is, do we go? Right. Which, way, which way do we go? Which way do we go? We're going towards the finish line now. Here boys. we go. So, here we go, yeah. Johnny D. All right, I told what you. is in our hello at duck commander? Oh, hello at duckcallroom.com <laughs> email <laughs> inbox for this week. Hello. Rewind and do that again. Right. I did. All the way through. Hello. At duck call. <laughs> he just rewound himself. That's fantastic. <laughs> we need that a lot in here. Um, so, Godwin. Yes, sir. You weren't here. Have you I'm ever, not here. You weren't here when we had this discussion. We had a lot of heated debate in the comments and in the emails. Are you pro bidet or against bidets? Oh, I'll go for days. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Me either. Do you know what a bidet is? A bidet. No. Are it's, you pro bidet or well, tell me what negative? It is. It's the negative. you know the water spout in your toilet that yeah. psh, it yeah. cleans you after. Yeah. It makes you jump up. I ain't got one. You know, when you, Have when you, you ever used one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we talked about it. I'm 100% for them. Si, very much against them. You got one? Oh, yeah. In your house? <laughs> well, it's not. It's like a install on the toilet. It's right. not like a separate thing. You want to go have a sleepover, don't you? What's that do? It cleans you. Hey. Think of it as like a car wash. That seems like yeah. laziness. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> in other words, they're okay. too lazy to wipe their rear end. That's what I'm. No, I'm, right, there you okay. Go. See, right. so that's what we got to get into because a lot right. of the emails well, they don't know how a bidet works. So you don't just blast yourself with water and then pull your pants. How up you know go. when you clean? It is not a lack of toilet. There is still <laughs> toilet paper involved, just not as much. Then why do that? Because <laughs> it's cleaner. And is uh, water cold or hot? It depends on how much money you got. My, my water's hey, cold. That's oh. right. It depends on what time. Oh, he didn't put the heater in the water. I didn't put okay. the heater in it. But I did no, just It look sounds up. like an extra step to me. Well, here's what I got to. My question is, how long have you got to sit there to dry off? You Okay, see, that's. Uh, there's a misconception here. Oh well, no, you, you got a fan. Toilet paper, and yeah, you dry yourself off. So in other words, you double dip it. No, you're not double dip it. <laughs> no, no, you double dip it. Your toilet hey, paper is just hey, for drying. It's a waste. It's a waste. Do you dry you your ever, hands after uh, you wash them? You well, of you, course, you, yeah, after but I, wash I my don't. Hands. Yeah. But look, here's the other thing. I can also wipe my hands on my britches. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I can't. Wipe there on my britches. I don't want. Anyway. I don't want a garden hose sticking, <laughs> sticking you know in who, my commode you know who, that blows who water. Who invented up. the bidet? Okay, I think some French guy had to be. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> what in well, America? Let me tell you, yeah. He got. Why didn't he name it Benight? <laughs> no. All right. Well, I wasn't going to use. You got to wait for daylight. But Randy in the email, it, he said it can be your best friend if you had spicy food the night before. Thank you, Randy, <laughs> for emailing in. There was a lot of emails about the days, and I'm for them. He's for them, boy. And you'd be surprised how many hey, people are This for is them. just one of them things that we're going to have to agree to disagree. And speaking of disagreement, we'll move on from bidets. But right. thank you for Hold all the on. emails. Hold on. Nope. So you spent extra money to do that. It's not expensive. It's like a so lift you, on your truck. Like, it's yeah. just an yeah. add-on. Yeah. No. Yeah. no, I'm just yeah. saying, that's what yeah. he did. His is yeah. just an add-on. It's like lifting your truck. Hey, it's his, it's his money. Let him waste it that if he wants to. Sense. You still going to use toilet paper. But not near as much. <sighs> Especially in the hard times. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, last spring, he was coming out like a bandit because, you know, everybody took all the toilet paper. Well, he's like, I only need half as much. Right. Oh, not yeah. even half, not yeah. even a quarter as much. Yeah. We had a I would never feel secure. Am I clean? You you check with toilet paper to see if you're clean. All right, people, uh, We I don't even know. All right, so Easter's coming up, so I got you like nine or ten whole verses. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple and the one Jesus loved and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb and they were running. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. That is John 20, 1 through 8. The mm. tomb is empty. empty. And is. he folded up his clothes on the way out. And that power is all within us to raise one day to. Amen. Awesome. Hey, there you go. You know who the disciple was that Jesus loved? John. John. Thank you. That's a thank you very much. Johnny Goblin, baby. Yeah, right. Johnny, Johnny D. That's the perfect ending.